got work to do. I'm surprised you've got any energy left after last night. Yeah, well, you just run along, yeah, because I'm late enough as it is. Well, will I see you tonight? Tish bushes, you know. You well? Oh, what? What time? Uh, well, I'll let you know. You didn't mind last night. Still, sir. Oh, this mattress is useless. Yeah. Twins got to sleep, all right? I'll tell yeah. you what, I don't want another night like that again. Any jobs? Yeah. If I fancy being a paper boy. Oh, this came for you. Oh, cheers. Yeah, how'd you fancy a night out? Oh, well, us two. Yeah, how about it? How are we going to afford it? We haven't got any money. And... We'll do it on the cheap. Yeah, in that case, we'll give it a miss, all right? Oh, come on, love. Look, it would do us good. I mean, we haven't been out in ages. No, I don't know. What about the twins? Well, there's somebody to look after, mate. A peace offering until I clear my debt. Another satisfied customer. <sighs> Fiddling your mum didn't get us very far, did it? I know it was stupid. I'm sorry, all right? I don't care about that. All I care about is having three kids and no money. Yeah, that's why I fought a night out. We can't afford it. <sighs> See that, Cindy? You've got to have that special touch. I thought I did. You've got to know what babies like, you see, because they can't tell you themselves. Really? I never knew that. Here, I read somewhere that you can get tapes now of sounds. You know, like in the womb. Yeah, I know. We tried it. Didn't work either. You look like you could do with a night off. A month, more like. Listen, why don't you get babysitter? I don't like leaving them. Not a night, anyway. Oh, don't be daft. They'll be all right. Maybe in a few months or so. Cindy, you've got to remember you're married. What's that supposed to mean? Well, your husband needs a bit of attention and all. He gets plenty. You can't just live for the twins. I mean, you've got to get out. It, it, it's not natural sitting home every night. Pat, if you really must know, we can't afford it, all right? Well, surely you can afford one night out. <sighs> Afraid not. Listen, uh, I might be able to help. I mean, after all, I, I did miss out on Stephen, didn't I? Not getting on maternal, are you? No, of course. All I'm saying is if you want a night off, just ask. All right, thanks, Pat. We'll be all right, really. Well, I hope so. You look like you're either insane or you're constipated. What? I said you look like you got a problem. No, not me. What are you smiling for, then? Oh, I didn't realise I was. First sign of madness, that. So, do you think it will lead to marriage? Sorry? Or are you just trying to relive your youth? I presume you had one once. I've got no idea what you're talking about. You could be her granddad. Who's, whose granddad is that? I saw you with that Jackson girl this morning. So? You are so cheap. <laughs> no, I think you're mistaking me for yourself. Oh, no. I don't date 16-year-olds. No, neither do I. No, you just sleep with them, don't you? Are they the only ones who can't see through you? If you must know, she's my cleaner. Oh, your lady that does. Oh. You're not going to squirm your way out of this one. Just keep your nose out of my business, all right? What business is that, then? Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. At least until I get a bigger audience to play with. Oh, I'll enjoy this. It's nice to see somebody's happy. Is it? You two always going to be each other's throats. Don't worry, one day I'll put an end to it for good. Or he will. If we make it six o'clock, that way we can make a proper night out of it. Yeah, well, Cindy said she didn't have any money to go out. Yeah, well, we've just about got enough. Well, honestly, I don't think she's in the mood now. Yeah, she will be. I'm going to surprise her. Good luck to you. What's happening at six, then? We're babysitting for Cindy and him. Fair enough. You don't mind, dear Frank? Oh, of course you don't mind. Whoa, 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 whoa. hang on a minute here. What's, the, what's this we? Well, as in you and me. <laughs> hey, before you get in your eye horse, we're doing it. Hey, young man, uh, I'm sure you'll understand. I've had my share of screaming kids and dirty nappies. I'm having a night in front of the TV. Oh, that's all right, Frank. You can watch ours. I'll give it a miss, thank you all the time. Frank, there's a bottle of malt in it for you. Malt, you say? Uh, we'll be there at six now. Make it half five, I'll we'll knock off early. <laughs> See you later, Pat. Oh, oh yeah. Hello. Right. Yes, Frank's fault. We kept smelling that whiskey. You just lead me to it. What's going on? We're going out. Who says? I do. Come on, get your coat. Ian, I'm not going anywhere. 
tough you are. But I'm not dressed. Cindy, you look fine as you are. <sighs> I'm not in the mood. I had a feeling this might happen. Get a, look, a night out, it'll do us good. Who says? Go on, Cindy, it's your chance to paint the town red, though. I'll tell you something, when I was your age... Oh, age-old. Frank, that's enough, thanks. Come in. what'd you say? There you go, Frank. Don't drink it all at once. Cool, ain't that funny? <laughs> there goes another rib. Ain't that funny? <laughs> you just have to have a sniff of it now and then. There's some other stuff if you want to help yourself, right? Excellent, cheers. Right, you will be all right when you pat? Well, of course. I've been looking after Frank all this time, haven't I? You two just run along and don't fret about a thing. Thanks. What for? You're changing your mind. Yeah, we're not going far. I'm going to phone in every half an hour, right? Oh, honestly, Cindy, there's no need. I'm only doing this for you. Yeah, well, I should hope so. Come on. See, See you later. later. Yeah, Ta-da. Enjoy. Have a nice time, darling. God bless. Here we go. Always tastes better when you haven't bought it yourself. We're charging them, what is? But what could we ask for? <laughs> Kids all right. Oh, yeah, they look dead peaceful. Okay, so, so, got Told you, old Frank, I saw them out, don't live in there. Oh, yeah, and how'd you do that? Right. Telepathy? Uh, I mean, you ain't moved off that chair since we got here. There are still things about me that you've yet to learn, my heart. <laughs> Listen, uh, while you're up, do us a favour, will you? My little lamb, my little precious passion flower. What? Like as a sandwich with. <laughs> I suppose I better check him again. I believe my lamb, Pat McCrone. Oh, one bit, sec. What happened? Blimey, that was quick. Yeah, you're telling me. Cindy couldn't relax, which put me on edge. Oh, I can't help if I care about him. How were they? They haven't so much as murmured, darling. Did you hear that, love? Absolutely nothing to worry about. Well, we're available any time you want us in. Reasonable rate. Ian! Ian! Get an ambulance. There's something wrong with Peter. Oh, no. Just get us to the hospital, will ya? What is it? What's going on? What is it? It's little Pete. He ain't breathing properly. Where do you think you're going? I'm coming with you. Just get back to your precious Catherine. I mean, that's what you care about. Ian! Look, we don't need you. Any news? Uh, I saw a while ago. It's yeah. on the vents like they're still doing some more tests. Is she all right? Yeah, she's fine. I left Stephen with Auntie Paula. Any idea when we can go see little Peter again? I don't know. You know, I just can't seem to get away from these places nowadays. Why did I make us go out last night? You want to know what's going to happen, were you? I just feel like it's all my fault. No, it's not. If it's anyone's fault, I blame Pat and Frank. God knows how long he was lying there before I went in. Mr. and Mrs. Beale? How is he? Can we go and see him? We're running a few more tests. It won't be long. But trust me, he's doing very well. What's wrong with him? You must understand, all babies are very vulnerable to viruses. Well, just tell us what's wrong with him. We think it's pneumonia. Think! Well, let's just say he has all the symptoms. But I assure you, there's nothing to worry about. He's back in a ventilator, but he shows every sign of making a speedy recovery. Are you sure about that? As sure as we can be. Of course he will. Ian, I'm sorry. I couldn't stay away. Oh, uh, you're gonna. What do you say? You can see him in a bit. Oh, great. That doesn't mean you. Just who do you think you are talking to me like that? Look, Kathy, don't you think it'd be better for everyone if you just went home now? I sacked you because you were stealing from me. I didn't do it out of malice or spite. I did it because you were conning me, all right? Oh, yeah, and thanks to you, we've got nothing now. Well, it didn't have to be like that, did it? Can we just leave it? I don't really want to talk about it. But more important things are in my mind right now. You just can't help it, can you? You just have to drive Ian away. Looks like he's got me. Isn't it, Ian? You always have to do that, don't you? Do what? No matter the situation, you always have to get the knife out. 
They could scan you for a year and they'd never find a soft side. Just give it a rest, will ya? Ian, I just want you to know that I'm here for you and all. And unlike some, I've always been here. I'm sorry I sacked you, but you didn't leave me with any choice. Oh, my heart bleeds for you. I'm going for a walk. I oh, can't come with you. No, I'll go alone. Like I'm never like you and my kids. Listen, I gave that boy everything. You just won't let him grow up, will you? He's still a kid to you. He hates it, you know. He's told me a few times he really hates it. You'll pay for that one day. And you lose him for good. Why do they always make these places so hot? I think you have to breed like crazy in here. Peter will be all right, Ian. It's just routine I'm keeping him in for a bit. Well, are you a doctor now? No, I'm just saying, that's all. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it to come out like that. Oh, forget it. It's not exactly the worst thing I've heard today. I just kept thinking I was going to lose him. It was only been a few months since Dad, and... I'll just crack up if anything happened to little Pete as well. I think we've had that bad luck. <sighs> yeah, I hope so. I don't think I could take much more of this. I think about him a lot, you know. Who, Dad? Yeah. I miss seeing him on the market. I always have to take a moment before I can buy something from Mark. It's stupid, I know, but I still think of it as Pete's stall. Yeah, no. I wish he was around at the moment. It's the first big crisis I've had to face up to, and he's not been around to drum up support. Support? He would have panicked like the rest of us. You should have seen him whenever you were ill, we went to pieces. Must be more like you, then. Mm, poor thing. I don't know, still be in good stead. Thanks for the time. I had a go at Phil, you know. I don't know what you see in him. Well, I could say the same about Cindy. Why did you steal from me? Why do you think? I don't know. Honestly, I don't. Well, I thought it was obvious. I was desperate. I had mouths to feed. Mum, we're in a really bad way. Then why didn't you say something to me? I just thought if I could get a bit of cash behind me, I could make a go of it on my own again. I know you won't believe it, but I'm sorry I did it. Oh, yeah? Yes, I am. I don't believe this. You're a treacherous cow, you are. You what? Oh, please don't start all this again. I just can't believe you tried that. Tried what? You know what? Tried to get to Ian when he's feeling vulnerable. I am allowed to speak to my own son, you know. Did you really think you could get away with it? You must think he's a right idiot. Oh, don't listen to her, Ian. She's obviously flipped her lid again. Oh, well, and the next minute you're trying to wheedle your way in with him. We were just having a chat. Yeah, you should try it sometime. I take it you can't put two words together without one of them being an insult. But you couldn't wait to start rushing over here, could you? Think you'd catch Ian off guard? You don't care about Peter. Don't you dare say that. Can't you see, Ian? She's trying to manipulate you like she always does. Ian! Oh, Mum, will you just give it a rest, please? Me? She's the one who started it. You started it by coming here. Couldn't you see the last person we wanted to see? Oh, can we just drop this, please? No, Ian, I'm sorry, but it's got to be said. I'm just trying to protect you, that's all. If you'd like to come with me, you can come and see Peter now. Oh, about time. Yeah, you'll have to excuse my wife, she's a bit tense. Naturally. I must warn you, though, he's asleep right now. Asleep? He never sleeps. <laughs> Warn, you better get in there and see him. I'm really glad for you. Thanks. And I mean both of you. Listen, I, I'm sorry about everything that happened at the CAF. So am I. I shouldn't have done what I did. Oh, like you say, you had your reasons. Go on, you better go and see Peter. Don't you want to see him? I can wait. No, you can't. Come on. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. How's it looking? Oh, great, yeah. When's it coming out? Tomorrow, hopefully. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. You've got your hands full, haven't you? All those little mouths to feed. Oh, tell me about it. Well, listen, I suppose there's much I can do, but if you need a hand or something, give us a shout, yeah? Cheers. Yeah, look, I've got a dash. Breakfast duty. All right, mate. See you later.
mind? Yeah, be about five minutes, okay? Right, yeah, okay. You all right, you tired? Yeah, a bit. Why don't you have a kit before you go back in? Well, no, I can't. I've got too much to do. Well, like what? Well, if Peter's coming over in the hospital, I haven't done any housework for days. Plus, I've got a basket full of washing in there. Well, sure, I'll do it. Why don't you come to the hospital with me? No, I've got a few things to sort out. I thought I'd go in later on. Well, what things? Well, just a few bits and pieces. I mean, there's nothing to worry about. Well, but I want to help you, and we should do things together. Well, you can turn the bacon over then, if you want. You know what I mean. Look, honestly, it's just a few calls to make. I mean, it's, it's no big deal. Are you sure? I'm positive. Well, can't I help you? You've got enough on your plate with a dynamic duo, haven't you? Yes, I know, but I just... No buts. You look after the kids, and I look after everything else. Have to put off the world cruise for another year, but we'll manage. We've still got loads of baby stuff to get, you know. Yeah, well, we get it. I saw the bank statement. Oh. We're overdrawn. Yeah, not much. But why didn't you tell me? Because that's for me to worry about, not you. Yes, you keep saying that, but it's not as easy as that. No, I can look after my wife and kids. I know you can. I just wish you'd let me help, that's all. You've got enough on your plate as it is. I was thinking, what about your dad? What about him? Well, hasn't he left you anything? Dunno. I mean, if he has, it won't be much. I mean, he's hardly what you call a dedicated saver now, was he? The stool always seemed to do well. Yeah, the stool. Well, what? Well, I was supposed to talk to Auntie Pauline about it. Well, what about Mark? Well, it's got nothing to do with him. Dad bought Auntie Pauline out years ago. I doubt if Pauline would see it like that. Mark was only supposed to be running it until Dad got back. Well, he's not going to be doing that now, is he? By rights, it's mine. Ours. No, Ian, they'll never agree. You said I wasn't to give them a choice. Your share of the cat. Yeah, that's about the straight thing. What do you think? Well, I don't know. How much? Well, I don't want to be greedy, babe. I thought about nine grand. Nine thousand? Hey, come on, Kat. That's a fair price, darling. Well, I'm not saying it. I mean, where'd you expect me to get £9,000 from? Well, you know, maybe you could uh, borrow it. I've still got to pay it back, though. Yeah, but don't forget, Cathy, you'll be doubling your income at the cafe, darling, won't you? It's still a lot of money, Frank. Cathy, it's a wonderful investment for you, sweetheart. You'll be your own boss, and every penny you take will be yours. Morning. So, uh, what do you think? Eh? Uh, about the calf. I don't know, Frank. I'll have to think about it. Oh, you, you, you're definitely interested, are you? I said, I'll think about it. Right. Right. I'm not going to tell you again. It's finished. What, just because you say so? Just grow up. I'm talking to you! Having girlfriend trouble? You are. Sound not very happy. Just keep your nose out of things that don't concern you. How's it going? Oh, not bad. Yeah? Got time for quick chat? What for? I only take five minutes. Buy a drink. Yeah, right, look, I can't stay long. Five minutes? Yeah, all right. Lou, keep an eye for us, will you? Cheers. Do what? I appreciate you looking after the storm, Mark, but that's all my dad asked you to do. Exactly. He asked me. When he thought he was going to be coming back. Look, the store's my dad's. He's no longer with us, so it passed on to me. And what a sudden interest, though. You never bothered before. Yeah, well, that's my business. Nothing to do with those little pound signs lighting up in your eyes, is it? Oh, and you've been doing it for the goodness of your heart, have you? Mark, I don't want to argue with you about this. The stall is mine by rights, and that's all there is to it. Now, you can see the week out if you want, but after that, you're going to have to sort something else out. No. Mark! Oh, you can't have the stall. we would have to see the rest of the week out yourself. Oh, keys to lock up are in there. Dad brought you out ages ago, which means you've got nothing to do with the stall anymore. Mum, please leave it. You're wasting your breath. No, this stall has been in our family since before he was born. He had no right to do this without talking to someone first. What is there to talk about? Oh, you mind your manners, boy. Your auntie's talking to you. What's going on? Ian has thrown Mark off the stall. I did not throw him off. Ian? But did Dad say that one day the stall would be mine? Yes or no? Oh, yeah. Right, there you are, then. Well, does it give you the right to do this? I mean, what about Mark? No consideration for others. Now, just hang on a minute. Just a minute. This is family business. Was well, my family and all? No. You stopped being family the day you ran off and left Peter. Oh, so what was all that the other day, then? You know, about the family sticking together to help out Auntie Nelly. I was good enough to be a bill then, wasn't I? Well, that was different. Oh, I thought it might be. You only use this family when it suits you. Oh, it's all flaming coming out now, isn't it? What's God. going on here? This is none of your business. Everything out here is my business. No, this is between me and him. You tell him, Paulie. Look, I don't care who it's between, as long as you don't have a public slangy match in the middle of my market. This stall has got nothing to do with your poxy market. No, that's right. That's got nothing to do with it. It's still affecting my trade. Now, you've got two minutes or I'm calling the police. Call them, then. You don't think I won't, love? 
and then you'll all get done for causing a disturbance. Now, I don't mind you screaming at each other, but at least you can have the decency to do it in the privacy of your own homes. Oh, come on, Mum, this ain't going to solve nothing, please. Right, you, I want to see you over the road. I've not finished with you yet. Who the hell does she think she is? No, I can't really blame her. Really. So what's brought this on anyway? I didn't know you was interested in the stall. Mum, it's a case of having to be. The kids are OK? Yeah, Cindy just got back. All right, let's go get this over and done with, shall we? Hey, where are you going? I'm coming with you. No, you're not. I don't want a full scale right on my hands. Besides, there's nothing she can do about it, and she knows it. Ian. Mum, if you want to be of help, do five minutes in the store, will you? Sorry, Auntie Pauline, but nothing you say is going to change anything. But your family must come first. <sighs> All right, family. You keep harping on about the family this, the family that. I've had it drummed into me since I was near of a grasshopper. That's what I'm doing now. I'm looking after my family. Cindy and the kids. I'm just making sure they don't want for anything. Now, if that upsets anyone, that makes me out to be the bad guy, then fine. But that's the way it is, and there's nothing you or anyone else can do about it. I'm like working it with me dad, wouldn't I? Mark can do it. Don't see why I can't. I bet Pauline's blaming me. Well, she blame who she likes. Might make a blind bit of difference. It'd be funny seeing you work on the storm. <coughs> why? I don't know, it just will. You have to get really early, you know that. <coughs> yeah. Still, it won't be for long. Why? You don't think I'm going to spend my life selling fruit and veg, do you? Why well, go to the trouble to get the stall, then? So I can sell it. I haven't got any booze, sorry.